is up everyone we have got this week's event week vehicle being the bf weevil we're going to be going through six points of this um first off being the uh the um the details that are on uh what is it gtabase.com um, which is where i read out all the information that they have on the vehicle so let us begin this shall we the bf weevil is in is a compact vehicle featured in gta online added to the game as part of the 1.52 ko perico heist update on december 22nd 2020 the design of the weevil is based on a volkswagen beetle if you didn't if you couldn't tell by the name the weevil can be purchased um, can be bonus reward of the San Andreas the San Andreas Super San Andreas Super Autos of whatever $875,000 and it can be stored in the garage in any personal vehicle garage this vehicle can be customized also at the Los Santos customs you can also get the Obviously, some of this may not apply them now, going by the date that it is. You also get the BF Weevil for free as a bonus reward back in the day. Complete the Kaya Perico Heist final as a leader at least once. Wait for English John to contact you with DJ request missions and onwards and onwards. So basically, you could get this car for free um, for doing some missions before English Dave but obviously now that it has come out those missions are no longer available however if you do these missions now you will get the trade price being I think $652,000 vehicle name is the Weevil vehicle class compacts manufacturer is BF um, purchase price $870,000, discount price $652,500 being the trade price. Storage loca location, personal garage, modifications, Los Santos Customs. Sell price, um, once as soon as you've bought it, if you don't do anything to it, and you buy it and then sell it straight away, you'll get $522,000. The top speed in game is 83.89 miles an hour or 135 kilometers an hour seats it has two mass slash weight is 820 kilograms drivetrain is rear wheel drive and it has four gears that is the uh, details of the vehicle itself now, in-game vehicle, in-game details are, this is what's on the website, you can pop the mod ring, rock a stack palm, roll a doobie and crash the stock market, or for a fast 70s fi vibe fix, you can just purchase the Weevil, some fashions are timeless. So that's what you get on the website of, um, of the game if you go and purchase it obviously normal website you get the standard colors and everything um, next up we have got the performance now performance wise I will leave obviously the usuals on the screen test track wise it wasn't exactly fast it was about 1 minute 50 which you know to all the other ones it's not very quick um, for a compact vehicle though I think it is pretty good only downside it does have a lot of understeer which I will leave for you to have a look at now on the test lap
and the next one is the first handling course where it's more straight line speeds with some wider turns And the second perform the second handling lab course is a few more straights but coming down to very tight turns.
and as you can probably tell yes it has got a lot of understeer yes I did bump into the walls a lot of the time but the handling courses are more to show how it handles rather than how quickly I can get around if I have to go slowly around a corner then I go slowly around a corner personal experience again the understeer it's a bit of a eh. straight line speeds not terrible but it does you know it, it lacks it won't be able to keep up with anything faster than an SUV probably um, however the appearance wise of what it is it's kind of more of a car show vehicle like you go to car meets you show off your wheels and all that kind of stuff it's not so much a racer <coughs> it has got the liveries for racing but it's not really eh, it's not really a racer customization wise we have got a lot of stuff that you can do to this car including making it into a possible off-roading vehicle as well so you can remove the bumpers you can remove the headlights and all that stuff you can expose the engine at the back um, so there's a lot of stuff you can do to it so you can keep it into a street you can keep it classic or you can keep it kind of like off-road whatever it is you're going to be going for um, I know there's going to be a lot of different variants of this car out on the streets so I mean I went just for like a classic show model rather than an off-roading one just because I like the no bumper look and everything on it so but summary of the vehicle it's very good I enjoyed it um, so obviously if you have got this as well and if this video was helpful in any way whatsoever if you haven't got it already then please do leave, please do leave a like leave a comment of what you think of the vehicle as well along with no um, subscribing if you have not done already and notification bell to be notified on any future updates or videos that I unleash onto the channel and I will see you all in the next one